This is not a joke when I say my hair is falling out. Full head bleach five times. Do not recommend that. Got all the hair masks under the freaking sun. This is broken off hair which has started to grow out. My hair just broke off. This is not normal. Yeah boys! I know I just said that. Hello everybody, it's Emily and today I am going to be doing a hair care routine and also I'm going to be showing you guys how I got my hair to go from this to this. So yeah, thumbs up the video if you enjoy it, subscribe if you're not already and let's just get started. Hello everybody. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with my hair care routine. So I wash my hair every other day because if you wash your hair every day then I think it's like meant to be bad for it. The first thing that I do when I wash my hair is I use this Body Shop Ginger Shampoo. Now, been using this recently, has all natural ingredients, I'm cruelty free, love this, yep. So these are some things that I've been using recently. I use these after I wash my hair. So basically they are these two hair masks which I exclusively sold in Primark and only three pounds. Really good, go get them. Uh, so the first one that I have here is a Unicorn Exist one, which is a hydrating hair sheet mask. The next one I'm gonna be showing you, which I'm actually gonna be using on my hair so you guys can watch me use this. It's called Your Pawsome, and it is a moisturizing hair sheet mask, and it's for frizzy and damaged hair, which is my hair, because if you guys didn't know, I bleached my hair, absolutely ruined it. Vaughn on the clips of me using this. Hello everybody. Okay, so I've just had a shower, so excuse what I look like. I literally have like a tiny bit of makeup left on my face. So, if you guys are interested in buying the hair mask, then these are the instructions of what you guys have to do if you want to use one. So basically, I've just washed my hair, and the hair mask works on towel dry hair. So I'm just going to go towel dry my hair, and I will be back. Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like after I've towel dried it. It looks like a mess. But now I am going to put the hair mask on and I'll show you guys what I'm going to use. I have chosen to use this hair mask and it is the one for frizzy and damaged hair because if you guys keep watching the video you will find out that my hair is very damaged because I did bleach it. Excuse my fringe and my skin's bad. But yeah, I'm going to put this on my hair. You leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this on my hair. They do actually have these for all different kind of hair types. So if you've got like oily hair then they probably have them for that. So this is what it looks like when you open it. So this is what it looks like and I'm gonna put it on my hair right now. I think it's this way. Okay guys, so what you're meant to do is you're meant to put it on like a hat. Oh my God. So what you're meant to do is you're meant to put all your hair in it. Okay, so once you've done it, you're meant to fasten it so that it fits you. So guys, I am fastening this at the back. Gotta make sure all the hair is tucked in. So yeah, this is it. Then basically you're meant to just massage it into your hair. This is just me chilling right now. Look at me, I'm chilling. I'm gonna set a time up for 20 minutes because my hair actually is quite damaged. So I'm gonna do that. Then once I've done it, I am going to wash it off and then do my conditioner and I'll show you guys when it's dry. So yeah. Okay guys, update. Just tightened it a bit so that, yeah, just so it's a little bit tighter. Okay guys, so it's actually been about five hours since I last vlogged and now my hair is completely dry. Put it in the same hairstyle again because YOLO. But not lying to you guys, my hair feels so soft and it makes that noise, you know, like when you do that and like your hair makes a noise. No, okay, just me. Go get yours exclusively at Primark. Go get it because it makes your hair really soft. Right, okay, so after those clips you've just watched, you've obviously just seen my hair been washed and the after result like I've been using a hair mask to try and restore my hair for so long now and those have done a lot so right so what I used after I used my hair mask was another body shop thing it is a rainforest moisture conditioner now this is for dry hair I would say I actually do have an oily scalp but an oily scalp some bits of my hair are dry so like the top bit is kind of oily but then like this all bleach stuff it's all broken is dry so i use this on the ends of my hair just makes it really soft um, i think they're gonna stop selling this they said something to me they're like oh we're gonna stop selling this so go get it while you can after i wash my hair i have a few things that i usually do so i start off by spraying my hair with this label um professional hair care protein spray so yeah i use this protein spray i've been using it for ages literally run out now but uh, yeah, I got this for my hairdressers when I went. UV protection, it's good for the sun. Good if you're going out in the sun. I usually just spray this in my wet hair. And then after I do that, I use, I either use two of these oils because, so oils are really good for your hair. 
as they give them like all the nutrients that they're missing. I'm just making stuff up. I either use one of these. So the first one is by Shea Moisture. Shea. Shea. So basically it just looks after your hair and I just put it in the ends of my hair when it's wet. Then when it dries it's just much softer. They will um Rona Shush! <laughs> Someone just decided to knock on my door when I was mid filming. If I don't use that, I will use the Label M Therapy. I'm so out of breath. Basically, an oil, and it's an argan oil you can use in your hair. It's a heat protect. Good for your hair. Use a lot of this. If I'm going to straighten my hair, which is actually bad for your hair, the thing you should actually do is hair dry it with like a brush. Hairy. So I have this brush that sometimes I use and I put it like through my hair and hair dry it to dry it. But if you're lazy like me, you've got to use a heat protect when you straighten your hair. So the one that I've been using for ages, I've never tried another one. There's probably way better ones. But I use the Tresemme up to 230 degrees heat protection. It's just a heat defense spray. It says it has a UV filter. Seals in shine. That is basically my hair care routine. It's pretty simple. It used to be way more like extreme because my hair used to be so damaged. So like, I had to use everything that I could, but now it is in much better condition, so yeah, I would recommend my hair care routine to people with bleached hair, or if your hair is just dry and frizzy. Give it up. Okay, so now we are going to be getting on to the story time part of the video, which you guys have probably all been waiting for, because it is in the title of the video, so, right guys. This is not a joke when I say my hair is falling out. I did do a video on my channel, which I will put up here. It was like why I bleached my hair with like tips and I was telling you guys, go bleach your hair, you know, do it. If you want to do it, do it. And I have had those messages and like DMs from people saying, should I bleach my hair? Like I'm so undecided, do I do it or not? And my answer for you guys is no. Right, so I started bleaching my hair in January last year. And to start off with, everything was fine. Obviously I had those precautions, like if you bleach your hair, your hair's obviously not gonna be as nice because you're obviously stripping it of all of its color and nutrients and stuff like that. So like I knew about that, I was like, it's fine. So I bleached it once and I was like, I'm not happy with the colour because it was yellow. I kind of mentioned this in my other video. The woman was like, you know, you're going to need about four bleaches before you get like that white colour that you want. And originally I had told her that I wanted silver hair. And she was like, yeah, to get that you've got to get a white colour because the toner will not take if your hair is yellow or something. I'm not trying to expose the hairdressers I go to. I'm not going to like say who I go to. but So yeah, basically they recommended it. They said it would be fine. Um, I kept going back. I probably got my hair bleached about five times. Full head bleach five times. Do not recommend that. I don't know why I didn't think at the time, like, I'm bleaching my hair five times. Mm. But the thing is, I always wanted silver hair, and, like, I miss my hair so much right now. But it has to be like this because it was falling out. So the time when it started to go bad was about summer. I'm going to leave photos, guys, so you guys can actually see the extent to which this went to. I probably don't have the best photos, but... So it started off with, like, I had this piece of hair. You probably could see it in some of my videos. It used to stick up like this. Just this short little bit of hair about this bit. It was, like, in my fringe, but it wasn't a fringe. So, first of all, that started breaking off. My hair started breaking off from there, and it was just, like, sticking up. And that's pretty normal. Like, you normally do have a bit of breakage when you bleach your hair. So I was like, it's fine. Then, at the side, like, all of here, my hair just broke off. I had about like a tuft of about this much breaking off and I was like this is not normal honestly I used to be so self-conscious I used to have to I used to have to I use like this oil to like try and keep it down because it just used to then it started breaking off at the back one time I was on this freaking train and I was sat opposite with my friends and I'd like try to fall asleep and like my hair was like stuck up at the back like this not a good look but whatever and people probably noticed that at school, which was really embarrassing. And I was like, what am I going to do? I used to brush my hair, guys. I used to brush my hair. And my hairbrush used to be full of hair. I'm sorry, if you're from my school right now, you probably saw this, like, stage in my life. It was absolutely, like, horrendous. Hated it. Hair used to fall out from my hair onto my back throughout the day. So if I was wearing a black coat or something, can't wear a black coat when your hair's falling out because it just used to all gather on the back of my coat. And my friend Ella, she used to have to pull like the hair off. She was like, I've got to get rid of that because it looks so bad. And I used to be like, we always used to have to do like hair checks. Like, can you see if there's any hair on my back? Got to get it off because I couldn't be walking around with my hair falling out. So guys, do you know what I did? I even got hair growth shampoo. I got caffeine shampoo because I was like, you know, that's going to make my hair grow faster. Didn't help. Got all the hair masks under the freaking sun. None have helped. Guys, it came to the last resort, and I thought, do you know what I'm going to have to do? 
I'm gonna have to get a fringe. I've just exposed myself live on YouTube. See, my hair had started to break off so bad that I had a, basically a bowl around my head. Like, there used to be like this patch of hair. It used to go from all around here and then like all of this front bit of my hair had just broken off. And I was like, the only thing I'm gonna have to do is get a fringe. So do you know what I did? I got a fringe. Nobody knew the reason why I got a fringe. I was like, oh, she just got a fringe. But no, I got a fringe because my hair was so damaged. Basically, I kept it long for a while, but they were like, oh, if it's breaking off, then it's probably better if you go shorter. So do you know what I did? I went shorter. And guys, you probably all thought this was a choice all along. But no, it wasn't. Right, so basically, this is my hair at the moment. You see all this? This is broken off hair, which has started to grow out. Um, some people say I like Rod Stewart, but you know, don't take offense to that. Don't take offense to the haters. It looks awful from the back, but it's so close to growing out though, guys. Honestly, I would love to bleach my hair again, but I can't. The people who did my hair, they were not sympathetic at all. They kind of were just like, oh, all right, well, okay, we've ruined your hair, but you know, we're not gonna do anything about it. Just. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now you know the real me. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't. Subscribe if you've not already. And comment down below, RIP your hair. I will see you guys very soon with another video. Thank you very much for Hollow and Go for sponsoring this video and sending me those hair masks. Really appreciate it. So see you guys very soon. Bye.